What is this? Odin, Ace and Yamato, Kaido versus Yamato. What is it going to be? Luffy and Yamato. Oh, and this is the evolved version. But that does look pretty cool. I guess. I'll tell you, this is not what I was expecting. Uh, I tell you, I am, I'm pretty disappointed. This is like, honestly, the most met option that they could have gone with. We can get a little bit of information here, at least. That, that can't be it, right? So, the way, the way that I see this is that we're going to get one of these celebrations. The way that I see it is, this is going to be very reminiscent of Film Red. The way that I see it. So that we'll get Luffy and Yamato first. And then probably soon enough, we're going to get the Sanji and Queen. Then we'll get a Zoro and King. That's what I think is going to happen, to be honest. <sighs> I gotta say, guys, this might be one of the most uh, underwhelming anniversary reveals that we have ever received. This is not what we we're expecting. We'll, we'll go through it in just a moment as well. So you can see that Luffy is a strength unit and Yamato is a dex unit. So another strength dex dual unit. Uh... You know, it's funny because our Ace and Yamato dual unit is also strength and dex. And they do have super swap. And the super swap requires eight. It looks like eight switches to super swap. That is ridiculous. The other units here, it looks like there's an Odin and an Odin and a, and a Toki. Or is it just Odin? Either way. And there's a Nami, a Robin, and an Usopp. Because you see that uh, Odin and Toki are together here. So that might be like a free-to-play unit or something. And they have final tap. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's true. Do they reveal the final tap? No, oh, they didn't even show the final tap. I guess one of these animations might have been the final tap. <sighs> um, actually... Wait, hang on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hang on. I just noticed this as well. So when they show off this um, little video here... You see that this artwork of the character has ink effect, right? And then they have an additional ink effect on the other form of the character with Snake Man on it. So that's kind of weird because usually the base version of a unit doesn't have ink effect, but then this one does. So that's strange. Six and six plus, I don't see it being that. Again, remember with the data download that we got with version 13 that we had the new ink effect uh, icon thing? Maybe it's that? But then again, this ink effect doesn't even look that much more impressive than a normal ink effect, so I don't really understand what they're doing here. Okay, I will say though that this artwork for, for Yamato and Luffy actually look really cool. Like, I like this artwork, it looks great. But this is not what we're expecting for Global Anniversary. That was a really cool scene there, actually. Hold up. That look that looks sick though. That looks kind of sick though. I like that. I like that a lot. So that's probably the special animation. I'd expect it to be. And then that's kind of it. Like <sighs> I don't really know how to react to this, to be honest. 
This is not what we're expecting at all. I feel like it has to be, it has to be like film red, right? Let's check the Japan video. The Japan video is probably the same, right? Oh, wow. They actually put the opening in this one. That's pretty cool. The Japan video is way better. And look, even though this is not what we're expecting for Anniversary, this unit is going to be busted as all hell. We already know that. This unit is going to be insanely busted. But this is not what we're expecting. I feel the, the quality of this video is better than the global version too. Because you can actually see, like, the character icons way better here. So, yeah, this looks like to be, like, it's like a... Oh, what if this... Oh, I was going to say, what if it's 6 plus Toki? But no way, it's 6 plus Toki. Oh, it's a dual unit. It's, uh, it's an Odin and Toki dual unit. That's kind of crazy. So, it's a quick unit. And then there's an Usopp, a Robin, and a Nami. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, and one thing we can see is that the, the Kai, uh, my face is covering it, but the Kaido is inflicted with the resistance down. Uh, so it look, wait, what the hell? That's not the dual unit, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So the dual unit of, 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 uh, Luffy and Yamato is a free spirit striker. I thought Luffy was a free spirit striker. That wouldn't have made sense. But yeah, the dual unit is free spirit and striker. Okay. They're all different. Yeah, so we got Dex, Quick, Quick, Strength. It could be it could be like Lucy and be a Strength Dex Quick Captain. Yeah, and that's the thing I saw as well. Eight turn Super Switch is ridiculous. So then again, if it's an eight turn Super Switch, but then the generic Switch that this unit has is like insanely busted, then it wouldn't be as bad. But eight turns for a Super Switch is pretty ridiculous. Then again, the only other unit that, that comes to mind that had like an eight turn super swap was uh, dual unit Kaido, Kaido crew. And remember that when they were set as the captain, they immediately at the start of the quest fully charged their super swap. So what if it's like a situation like that where they have a really insane super swap, but if you use them as a captain, it becomes maxed at the start of the quest. Maybe that could be cool. I don't know. Just spitballing ideas. Um, and where does the, where does the crew's color affinity come from? You see, like, when we're, like, attacking and then there's a color affinity, but no one has used their special. It could be from a switch, though, I guess. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. What is this? Oh, 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 wait. Odin and Toki are a legend? Ew. Who decided that? Dude, what are they doing? The, uh, bruh. What? Is that on the website yet? Okay, it's not on the on the website. At least not what I can see. Okay, so shout out to Revo in the chat for posting this one. So, I don't know, dude. That's, uh, that's kind of weird, to be honest. And this banner goes until the 18th of June. And most anniversaries go for a month, which makes which makes a lot of sense. The thing is, is, is that... So, about Film Red, how, how we knew that, like, with Film Red, there were, like, multiple parts to it. And we knew at the very start. It said, like, the prelude, then there was, like, final act or whatever. But this one doesn't say, like, part one anniversary. This is just the anniversary Sugo Fest. So the fact that it's like, well, then again, Odin and Toki might be an anniversary Sugo Fest exclusive. I would expect Luffy and Yamato to, to be super. Odin and Toki might be a any unit, potentially. Yeah, and the whole Enma thing. 
the the whole Enma thing, it's definitely not for this Odin, in my opinion. I feel like the the, the files that are in the game for the Enma related stuff is for the future release of Zoro. That's my guess. I feel like there is a Zoro coming. It has to be. It has to be. It just doesn't make any sense. Then again, Bandai are renowned for making really stupid decisions. Like this anniversary, for example. This anniversary really doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, <laughs> it, this is the weirdest choice I've, I've seen. This is weird. And that's the thing I was telling people, like even just at the start of this stream, that they have thrown left field things at us before, right? Like we last year, Hybrid Kaido made sense. Ace and Yamato made sense because that episode had come out around the time. We were expecting Red Rock Luffy, but then we got this weird Gear 4 Super Tandem Luffy instead. It wasn't what we were, what we were hoping the character was going to be. And this time around, they didn't even give us anything that we expected. We just get Luffy and Yamato dual unit with an Odin and Toki dual unit. I don't know. I, I feel like because of how big some of those recent scenes are in the anime, I feel like those units that we are expecting to come out have to come out sooner or later, right? It has to. The website's updated. Let's check it. Let's check it. Whoop, that is not the right website. This one. Uh, I did go to this website just before, so potentially I may need to change some stuff. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, I had to delete the, the website cache and all that. But here it is. Here is the official banner artwork. Odin and Toki. I guess I wonder if Momo and uh, uh, Hiori are going to count as that unit. Would be kind of good if they are. Yeah, I'll do the free multi in a moment. <sighs> yeah, this is weird. Very, very weird. I, I really don't know, man. I don't know. This is very weird. I want to translate this just to make sure we get everything before we uh, continue. Just before we continue, I want to make sure we get everything here. Th this was not a good decision uh, for them to do this. Is the... Yeah. Gotcha. It just says Super Amazing Fest Limited. Okay, Odin and Toki look to be a generic legend. Because it mentions Super Amazing Festival Limited, Luffy and Yamato. But then Odin and Toki are just called legends. They're just normal legends. And it looks like the character name is just Odin and Toki, not including Hiyori and Momo. Then again, they've done stuff in the past where it will include it, so we'll have to wait and see. But I feel like they have to release those those recent anime episode related characters like in the in the game. They have to, right? Uh, I'm gonna reset my game and log back in. This is weird. Very very weird. I don't get it. I don't get it. So Carissa's free multi got her legend garp. Legend garp. Yeah, and the fact that they're two dual units, I am uh, pretty disappointed about that. I need to reset the... Uh Oh, man. Very strange. Senpai, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Yeah, this is just really bizarre, man. Really bizarre. Oh, hang on. There's another video. 
Whoa, wait, hang on, hang on. There's another video. New video. Holy shit, what's going on? At the in-game campaigns to look out for for the ninth anniversary. All right, let's see what's going on. We do get 99 gems. People were memeing this, but we actually get 99 gems. That's crazy. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. No producer video, which is kind of strange. Login bonus. Ninth anniversary login bonus. We get 50 gems and three red tickets. And then we... Oh, after party. Look out for the after party. Uh, 9th of June. Okay. Sure. It's pretty cool. Three special rare recruits. After party... You can get 10 free rare recruits per day, so we already know this information. Luffy's Meat Carnival, 9th anniversary and closing Wano fortune draw. Sure, double power-up success rate. I guess that's actually kind of good. Like, uh, super success rate? That's actually really good. But it's only for three days. Countdown quiz, friend invite campaign, like, none of this stuff is very exciting. We have other special campaigns to celebrate this monumentous occasion. First up is the OPTC countdown quiz with the most amazing questions that we've ever seen. But the rewards, I guess, are the big thing about the, the campaign. The friend invite campaign that absolutely no one cares about. What's next, though? I don't want to look at the chat just in case if people uh, spoil stuff. Okay. And this is it. Okay, so new illustration feature, alternate, alternating characters. The new character featured in the ninth anniversary is Luffy and Yamato. Yeah, we know. It's a terrible decision. Uh, and then, so you can change between having the one on the right or the one on the left. The one on the left is from, uh, from an Oda artwork, which is pretty cool. So there's two different artworks you can have. I like that there's an option for that. That's kind of cool. I mean, they didn't need to do it, but I, 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 okay, I'll take it. Regular Luffy and Yamato and the alternating character version. I wonder if it's just for the artwork and not like the sprite as well. Probably, ju it's probably just the artwork. You can use the alternating effect pen item to change the illustration. Sure. Oh, yeah, and as I thought, it's a strength dex and quick captain. So, reduces strength, dex, and quick ca- Oh, my, 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 uh, my camera is covering it. I apologize, chat. So, reduces strength, dex, and quick characters cooldown by two turns at the start of the quest. Reduces free spirit, striker, and fighter character special charge time by a further one turn. That's kind of ridiculous. Minus three cooldown. 1.3 HP. 1.2 recovery. Strength decks and quick characters and free spirit characters attack by six <laughs> six we're, we're going there we're going there chat six x 5.25 to all other characters strength decks recovery tandem matching allows you to re to receive recovery slots with a perfect reduces damage taken by 30 percent and reduces bind by 10 wow um that's kind of crazy so the thing is is that if we're just talking about just in terms of attack and everything basically strength decks quick and free spirit captain you don't actually need to run like mono strength decks quick but if you do you get the additional minus two cooldown that's pretty crazy honestly like that's that's absurd uh, in my opinion i don't think they should have pushed the boundary of 6x quite yet they probably should have kept it for that character that we're all waiting for right i think that was not a good decision um but either way it's a very good captain ability um so what is this reduces special charge by one turn boost strength oh, so this is the special Boosting strength decks and quick character slot effects by 3x. Okay, so you probably still want to run strength decks in quick. Three times all boost. Reduces damage taken by 60% for one turn. I'm not even going to read the rest, but I assume that there is a component in this kit that is percent damage reduction attack boost. I'm assuming. Changes adjacent slots into recovery. 
increases all damage taken by 1.75 for one turn. It doesn't go through immunity. If the crew has a slot boost and a damage reduction, uh, when you launch the special, extends the crew's attack boosts, slot effect boosts, and chain locks by one turn. Okay, so if you have an orb boost... And damage reduction when you launch the special, you extend it by one. Extending it by one's kind of mid, especially because this character's damage reduction and or boost are a uh, one turn. So if, if it was a two turn boost and it's a one turn extension, it would work. Or if it's a one turn boost and a two turn extension, it would work. But that doesn't really help that much, to be honest. And the fact that the increased damage taken doesn't go through immunity buffs really hurts as well. So, the character special is, like, not, like, that amazing, to be honest. It's not that crazy. It's just okay. So, I really wonder what this character's switch effect is going to be. I assume the switch effect is an attack boost. And, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's chain boundary. That'd be pretty cool, too. Uh, oh, okay. And then you're just going to go ahead and stack this on us. So, launching special as a double character will have a stronger effect... Wait, what? If you launch the special when you're a double character, so is there a way to just get this character special back? Oh, it's probably the super switch, right? It's probably the super switch. It's probably the super switch. Uh, so if you launch the special when they're a dual unit, minus two cooldown, strength dex and quick orb 3.25 by two turns... Reduces damage taken by 80%, changes adjacent slots into Wano. It doesn't go through block slots, by the way. The two times increased damage taken through immunity, that's busted. That is insanity. If the crew has an orb boost and damage reduction, extend it by one. Uh, and also chain locks by one. Uh, and attack boost and stuff. That's a very powerful special. That's more what we're expecting. Uh... Minus 2 cooldown, 3.25 orb for 2 turns, which you can extend with another special. 80% damage reduction. Wano slots. Increased damage taken that goes through everything. And then being able to extend it. Like, it's it's still not like a, a, a game-breaking special, but it is a good special. It is a good special. And I assume, I assume the super switch is going to enable them to fully charge their special. Okay, so let me just move my camera again. So, new character information. So, we've got Nami, Robin. That Robin artwork looks so good. And also, for a limited time during the anniversary, Sugo, Rare, Odin, and Toki. So, maybe, yeah, Odin and Toki look to be anniversary exclusives. It looks like it. Nami, Usopp, and Robin, and more. And more will appear. So they're not going to give us details on Odin and Toki? Hmm. <sighs> I will say, yeah, this is a, a pretty underwhelming anniversary celebration. This is not what we're expecting. Like, they literally had it stacked up for them with the anime, and they decided not to go with it. <sighs> Rough. Wow, 174 gems. That's crazy. I honestly think people might even just skip the Annie and just wait for when that character releases. There's still 30 seconds here. Oh, they're just revealing that again. Oh, 